then he should have gone back up there and made sure that everything was accounted for. Because, hey, look, okay, look at this. If you record the evidence, then you're responsible for it. Hello, Mr. Williams, Rod Williams. From the TSA? Yes, ma'am. You know that TSA issue should have been brought to your authorizing officer, right? It's not TSA business, ma'am. Please don't call me ma'am or we're not gonna get along, okay? So how can I help you, Rod Williams from the TSA? Here it is, my boy Chris has been missing for two days. Your son's missing? No, sorry, not my son. Uh, my boy, Chris, he's 26, Chris Washington. He left town on Friday with his girlfriend, Rose Armitage, she's white. That's four days ago. Yeah, I mean, he's only been missing for two days. He was supposed to- um, Let me stop you right there. Now you know the minimum amount of time without contact before you can file a missing person report is- Three days, I know, but I have reason to believe he's actually been abducted. Go on. Chris was actually set to come back home on Sunday. I was watching his dog, Sid. That's it. Yeah, cute, right? Chris sent me this which he took at his girlfriend's parents' house. That's Andre Hayworth, a guy who uh, knew from back in the day. Come to find out, he's been missing for actually six months and is now in an affluent suburb upstate. You know what's missing to me? Well, that's the thing. We found him and now, according to Chris, he's gay with a different personality. <laughs> gay? But he didn't used to be. I think he might just argue with you on that one. I know what I'm about to say is crazy. <laughs> Try me. You ready for this? I think this family is actually abducting black people and brainwashing them to work for them as sex slaves and shit. Brainwashing? Yeah. Hold on just a second. Garcia, Frosty, come in here for a second, please. Now I need you to tell them exactly what you just told me. 